Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Sobrang excited akong i-share sa inyo itong bagong foundation routine ko. Kasi no crusty looking makeup, no cakey makeup, full coverage but it still looks like your skin. And pinaka-importante, maganda siya sa weather natin dyan sa Philippines kasi matagal siyang mahulas. Hindi ko sasabihin na no hulas talaga kasi nga mahuhulas naman talaga yung makeup especially if you wear it more than 18 hours. And especially if you have combo and oily skin. And speaking of combo and oily skin, Kung mahilig kayong, ano yung sinabi ko? Skin? <laughs> Speaking of combo and oily skin, kung mahilig kayong mag-bake, eto guys, makakat na yung baking time nyo kasi hindi na kailangang mag-bake. Kasi you understand, you need to bake your makeup kasi para mas matagal siyang mahulas or para mas matagal kang mag-oil up. Pero eto mga best, hindi ka na malilate sa school and hindi ka na malilate sa work. Ako, I have dry skin so I don't really bake that much. Nag-bake na ako sometimes pag may fall out yung eyeshadow tas kailangan kong isave yung foundation ko, especially kung inuna ko na yung base ko. So, again, good news to sa combo and oily skin kung nagbe-bake kayo everyday, makakat na yung time nyo sa pag may makeup. Before I start, gusto ko muna sabihin sa inyo na I will be quoting Jordan Liberty the whole time sa video na to. Um, hindi ko naman malalaman itong technique na to kung hindi ko na panood yung video niya. He uploaded it last Feb 18 yata or Feb 19. Sobrang amazing and ginagawa ko na talaga siya ever since I watched that video. That is it for my intro. I'm gonna zoom you guys in now so we can start already. Step one, moisturizer. Use whatever works for your skin type. Ako, I have dry skin and sobrang okay tong moisturizer na to sa akin. If you have oily skin, you can still use this moisturizer. This is the Charisma Deca Suicide Sika Cream M+. Um, I'm just gonna put it all over my face now. Step 2, setting powder. I know it sounds so weird kasi napanood ko talaga yung video ni Jordan Liberty. Sabi ko, ha? Seryoso ka? Setting powder. Isiset natin yung moisturizer na nilagay natin sa skin natin. Ito yung dalawang setting powder na natry ko na nag-work talaga. The Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. And yung shade ko nito, 05 Fair. And ito naman si Cover Girl. Um, translucent lang to. So use a translucent loose setting powder. Kasi guys, if you use yung mga, yung mga shimmer, or yung may mga sheen or full coverage na loose setting powder, it's not gonna work. It's still gonna look like you've piled on a lot of makeup. So be careful then when choosing your loose powder. Yung hourglass ko nga eh, hindi ko siya nagagamit kasi iba yung look talaga. Itong dalawa na try ko na and sobrang okay siya. What I do, I use a fluffy brush, dip it sa powder and tap off the excess. As in, super konti lang talaga yung ilagay nyo. Yung tamang-tama lang na mawala yung shine from the moisture. Make sure to really buff it para hindi magkumpol-kumpol yung powder. Think about it this way. Sabi ni Jordan, when we bake our makeup, this is our skin and ito yung makeup natin on top. When we put powder, like we apply powder, we bake and para siya ma-absorb sa skin natin sa layer talaga, ba? Nagigets nyo ba? Kasi ako din best eh. Kasi nung pinanood ko talaga yung video niya, sabi ko, ano daw? Wait, ano daw? Rewind? Why not? Dito na tayo sa layer mag-apply ng powder para hindi na tayo mag-bake. Konting recap lang mga best. Step 1, moisturizer. Step 2, loose powder. Step 3 naman, setting spray. Sabi ni Jordan sa video niya, yung loose powder and setting spray, yung center steps na yon, they work so well together. Piliin nyo lang yung setting spray that works well for your skin type. Sa akin naman today, I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Sabi ni Jordan sa video niya, dalawang purposes yung setting spray. First, it's another micronized invisible layer of protection na hindi na siya nag add ng weight or texture sa skin. Second naman, it will auto automatically lock our makeup in place. Katulad lang din nung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, use a translucent powder, yung walang coverage, walang micro shimmers. And sa setting spray naman, dapat yung mga ganun na setting spray. ba merong setting spray na luminous setting spray tapos pag tingnan nyo yung bottle talaga meron siyang micro glitters or may mga maliliit na shimmer. So wag nyo gamitin yung mga ganun na setting spray. So today I'm gonna use this. Sinabi ko na yata kanina. So Morphe Continuous Setting Spray kasi ito naman, water lang talaga. Wala siyang micro 
natural shimmers. Because most of my setting sprays here, merong ganon na effect. Because I'm dry skin ako. If you have dry skin, then super smart din tong idea na to talaga. Because di ba na moisturizer tayo, nagdagay tayo ng loose powder. Merong tendency na may emphasize yung dry patches natin sa skin. So after spraying your face with a setting spray, mawawala yung na emphasize ng loose powder. I really hope na tama yung pag-explain ko sa inyo sa video na to. Hindi pwedeng dumiretso na tayo sa last step na hindi pa natin pina-sink in or pina-set talaga yung setting spray. So, kailangan muna natin hintayin ng konti. Fourth and last step, primer. So, this is the last layer of makeup na designed talaga to keep our makeup last longer na hindi siya nag add ng weight and texture. So, today, para drugstore lang tayo, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Potty Primer. It's not for me to set. Bago ako mag foundation, konting recap lang ha. Step 1 natin, moisturizer. Step 2, loose setting powder. Step 3, setting spray. And then last and final step, primer. Hey guys, so this is me applying my foundation. And as you can tell, hindi ko talaga siya dinadamihan. So just go slowly and easy with your foundation. Sometimes kasi masobrahan tayo, di ba? So what I do is that, um, by the way, before I tell you what I do, I'm using the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. This has medium to high medium coverage, hindi siya na full coverage. So if you have a super full-on full coverage foundation, mas lalong hinay-hinay sa paglagay sa foundation sa skin. Wag niyo pong damihan. Kasi the more you pile the product on your face, the more siya magkikakey. So, sobrang pa konti konti lang talaga. And then, when you add coverage, make sure you just add it on the areas na kailangan mo ng more coverage. Like yung mga pimple marks and yung mga hyperpigmentation na malalaki. And then, after I blend it with my brush to really you know, make it look well blended, I go in with my damp sponge again and pinipress ko siya sa skin ko. Ito po yung secret, if you have panda eyes, you need to use an orange corrector or peach corrector. Kasi if super full coverage yung concealer natin, kahit gaano pa yan ka full coverage, mag-gray and mag-gray talaga yung under eyes natin. Yung tendency kasi pag super itim yung eyes natin, nagli-layer and layer tayo ng concealer, ba? So mas kakapal siyang tingnan, so hindi na siya natural. So corrector first, abago concealer. This is how I apply a full coverage concealer. Hindi na talaga yung pa VV na sobrang dami. Kasi pag sobrang dami yung concealer, again, makapal siyang tingnan and magkakray siya kasi nga madami yung nilagay natin. So mas may tendency na papasok siya sa mga lines, especially if you have lines already. I can totally skip this part because I have dry skin. So if you have combo and oily skin, kahit nag-powder na tayo kanina, di ba, sinet na natin yung moisturizer with a loose setting powder, you still need to set your foundation in place and yung concealer para walang creasing. And I advise you to use a super light coverage lang talaga na powder or pressed powder. And then buff it sa skin. Use a brush na nagsisway yung mga bristles. You know, just like the one I'm using right now para mas easier pag i-buff new sa skin. And nakikita naman sa camera kung paano ko siya nilalagay. I'm almost done with my makeup. Hindi ko na lang ginawa yung eye makeup ko para maka-focus talaga kayo sa skin. So, this is how it looks like. Hindi pa ako tapos. Ito na yung pinaka-last na ginagawa ko talaga. Nagsis-setting spray ako. Kasi mga best, hindi naman pinakita ni Jordan Liberty talaga yung pag-apply ng foundation, concealer, and powder. And as you can tell, merong powdery look ng konti kasi nga sinet ko pa rin siya ng powder yung skin ko kanina. Pero super-duper konti lang talaga yung nilagay ko. And to minimize that powdery look, look, um, maglalagay ulit ako ng setting spray. So, kung ano yung ginamit ko kanina, yun lang din yung gagamitin ko ngayon. But if you have dry skin, and if you have a dewy setting spray or luminous setting spray, go ahead, use that. Kasi sometimes, ganun ako eh. Like, I use the setting spray. And then, nag add na naman ako ng dewy setting spray. So, depende yun sa inyo. And pag nagsi-setting spray ako, as in, naliligo talaga ako ng setting spray. After setting spray, nilalagyan ko ulit ng powder. Since super duper konti lang talaga dito sa T-zone. Kasi ayaw nyo naman maging shiny dyan. Dito, and then dito sa chin. 
That is it for this video, guys. I hope nakatulong to sa inyo and I hope na gusto hanyo. Let me know, please, in the comment section below kung ginagawa niyo na to. Kasi nga sabi ni Jordan Liberty, de ba? Old makeup technique na dawto pero hindi siya old sa akin nga. Bago lang siya. Kasi ngayon ko lang siya nalaman. So again, comment kayo sa baba kung ginagawa niyo na to and ano yung thoughts niyo about this technique. And kung ako naman yung tatanong niyo, this really changed my makeup game. Sobrang gusto ng gusto ko talaga siya. Mas matagal mahulas yung makeup ko and mas maganda tingnan yung base ko talaga. My skin but better. Kung pareho kayo sa akin na ngayon yun lang itatry, um, comment naman kayo sa baba, please, para alam ko din kung ano yung experience nyo. Thank you again for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye!